Lead. What is it? Where can it be found? And how does lead exposure affect our health? In this video, you will learn about lead and ways to reduce your exposure to lead found in food such as wild game. Lead is a heavy metal that is toxic to humans and animals. It occurs naturally in small amounts. Lead levels that are high enough to be a concern for human health often comes from human activities or products. Lead can be found in waste from activities like mining and forestry, landfills or hazardous waste sites, low-cost products such as toys, jewelry, and household items, paint from older buildings, drinking water from older plumbing installations. Lead can also be found in the food we eat. It can build up in the bodies of animals that eat food containing lead. This is a process known as bioaccumulation. For example, when a large fish eats smaller fish from water contaminated by lead, Lead can build up in the larger fish's body. Then, if we eat that larger fish, lead can build up in our body. Lead can also be found in plants that we eat if the soil where they grew was contaminated by lead. Lead can cause health issues, especially when humans are exposed to lead or consuming lead on a regular basis. Lead is a concern because it circulates in the bloodstream and can be built up in the bones and tissues like the liver, the pancreas, kidneys, and lungs. Lead remains in the body for a long period of time when it is accumulated in the bone. Some possible health effects of lead exposure include damages to the lymphatic system, cardiovascular disease, kidney damage, reduced body functioning, and reproductive health issues. Lead can be harmful to people of all ages, but children and unborn babies are most at risk of lead exposure. This is because they are growing and developing very quickly and absorbing substances such as lead more easily. For First Nations people that hunt for food or eat wild meat regularly, a potential source of lead in food is lead bullets or lead shot used to hunt wild game. Wild meat is a healthy and nutritious food, while hunting makes for a healthy and active lifestyle. Hunting is an important activity to the cultures of many First Nations people across Canada. Hi, my name is Leslie McKay. I'm from the Fisher River Cree Nation. I like hunting. I like providing for my family, for my children and my grandchildren. I, I was taught to hunt by my dad and my grandpa and passed it on to the next generation so that they may be able to have healthy eating habits that they may be able to provide food for themselves and for their children. It is important to continue to hunt and eat wild meat and to be aware of how you might be exposed to lead through these activities so that you can reduce that exposure whenever possible. Hunters or those eating wild meat may be exposed to lead in a variety of ways including inhaling or touching lead dust during discharging or reloading ammunition, or eating lead shot pellets or bullet fragments that may be left in wild game. Lead breaks into pieces quite easily upon impact. So when lead bullets hit bone or other parts of an animal, they can leave many small bits of lead lodged in the animal. Exposure may be increased by eating lead-contaminated meat that has been prepared with something acidic like vinegar because acid can increase lead concentrations. Lead ammunition can also impact the environment. Animals such as birds of prey like eagles or ravens may feed on discarded remains of wild game. 
They can be harmed by ingesting lead fragments. A lead bullet or lead shot that misses the target animal or goes through the animal can stay on the land or get into a water source and contaminate it. I hunt to provide fresh meat for my family and I. And I want to make sure that there we are safe from lead contamination. So it is important that we protect ourselves from lead contamination while hunting and preparing wild meat. Hunters usually remove the bullet or shot when preparing wild game to eat. Here are some simple steps to reduce your lead exposure from wild game that has been shot with lead bullets or lead shot. Wash your hands with clean water and soap after handling ammunition and guns and before handling the carcass. Wear gloves when handling the carcass. Using a clean, sharp knife, remove the bullet or bullet-damaged meat, cutting a generous distance around the wound areas to ensure lead fragments are removed. Throw out any bullet or shot damaged meat, keeping it away from animals that may eat it as they can be harmed by ingesting lead. Don't eat any portion of meat or organs that you think may have some lead pieces in them. Wash your hands after working with the carcass. Another way to reduce your lead exposure during hunting is to prevent lead from getting into our bodies and the environment in the first place. There are various types of non-toxic, lead-free ammunitions for both shotguns and rifles. For example, steel shotgun pellets and copper bullets. Shotgun pellet and bullet manufacturers are now providing several other lead-free options and are continuing to improve their performance. Ask your local ammunition supplier about non-toxic, lead-free ammunition options and what would work best for you. Hunting and eating wild meat is something that I'll enjoy and then I'll keep doing. I will share ways to avoid lead by preparing wild meat safely and using non-lead ammunition. For more information, talk with a local environmental health officer or health care provider. You can also visit Health Canada online at www.hcsc.gc.ca and use the search word LED. <laughs>